The first time I saw the bus was well over a year ago. It reminded me of Jack Sparrow's father in the Pirates of the Caribbean, grown into the hull of the Flying Dutchman he had been there so long. It's almost as if the old bus had fused with the log shed it had been stored under for 80 years. But Kirk Hill took a look at it and said he thought he could get it going again. Jack McAlpin, whose mother rode the bus to school, remembers being there that first day Kirk saw it. He goes out there, I gotta see it. He said, I can drive it out here in two days. I said, that man's crazy, I can fly too. <laughs> <laughs> and after a few days, they did get it running out there in the woods, and then they hauled it out and took the time rebuilding it. And this past week, Miss Ethel May, that's what they called the bus after the lady who rode it to school back in the 1930s, drove down our driveway here at WJTV to give us a ride. Now, for us, it was an adventure. Kirk Hill showing it off as part of his love affair with Model T's. I fell in love with the old bus. I really did. I mean, it's been, this is probably, I've done a lot of projects in my lifetime with Model T's and A's, and I think this is probably tops them all. Top speed, 17 miles per hour. Restoration probably isn't completely correct for what's been done to this bus. It has been returned to original. You can only have an original car once because once you paint it or once you do stuff to it, it's no longer original. So this is an original vehicle, and it's really a neat vehicle. We're not quite through with it. We've got a little, few little things to do, but... Well, of course, that's the fun of having something old like this. There's always something else you can do to it, but you don't have to if you don't want to.